Hello guys, this is Reese from Bomberito St. Peter's Volkswagen in St. Louis. Today I'm bringing you a very first of its kind. This is a 2022 Volkswagen Atlas SEL R-Line Black. This particular one is deep black pearl effect on the outside. Black leatherette on the inside with quartzite panels. Now, this is a first as in it has essentially chrome deletes for everything that had chrome on the car. Down below what used to be a chrome line is now a black line there. It blends into the paint on the car. Body colored paint below that feature line right there. Also black five spoke alloy wheels, twin five spoke alloy wheels. Black back here below what would have been a chrome strip as well. So body colored paint down there. Black roof rails, a blacked out R-line badge on the side. The front which usually has on the R-lines has a splash of chrome around the air intakes on the front and a three rib chrome design is blacked out. The only thing on the front that shows chrome is gonna be that logo right there and the R-line badge right there. The double hockey stick for the LED running lights. Again, black roof rails, keyless entry on all four doors, panoramic sunroof, a power lift gate with the easy kick open hatch and on the back, man, look at the back of this. It says Atlas in chrome letters right there. SELV6 off to the left in chrome and 4Motion off to the right in chrome and the logo and then that's it. That badge is normally chrome even under the tail lights. It's all blacked out. And down below the faux exhaust tips, the quad faux exhaust tips are all blacked out as well. You still get the trailer hitch with the 7 pin adapter, 5,000 pounds of towing right there. The oversized reflector. This is a good looking car. The black alloy wheels definitely stand out. Everything on this car, it's essentially murdered out. There's no chrome along the windowsill either. It's all black, blacked out. Here's black rubber panels across the, the windowsills. And there's a look at that R-Line badge there. Let's take a look inside. On the inside, still carbon fiber panel, panel right here. Uh, carbon fiber pattern, I should say. And then you have the quartzite gray for the arm pad and also the door inset here with that premium stitch or that contrast stitching right there. Silver tips for the mirror, the mirror knob and also the window switches, the window lock here, a power lift gate that you can open from inside the car. Here's a look at those leather at seats, a nice bold contrast stitch down the side and then up through the back of the uh, shoulders here and then also the double stitch on the headrest, manually adjusted. And before we climb in, here's a look at the inside. Now this one is a bench setup, and that box back there is actually their Muddy Buddy that they're getting installed in the back. Um, so that won't be standard on the car, uh, but that's an add-on in this car. Gray headliner there with the, uh, the panoramic sunroof and the power sunshade there. And as we climb in here, here's a look at your digital cockpit. Now you do have navigation on this guy as well. So I have navigation here. I can actually change it over to behind the steering wheel. Now it's over here. And then I do also have three views here. So I've got the wide screen, the crop screen, and the dial screen. And I can also change by using the tabs what's displayed in the center there. My assist systems, driving data, vehicle status, phone, audio, and then of course navigation there. The steering wheel is a flat bottom leather wrap steering wheel. It's also heated. There's a heated icon right there. It's adjustable. You just pull down on that guy, pull out, push in, raise it, lower it, lock it where you want, and then just lock it back. Stainless steel pedal caps down below. Star Wars socks today, guys. Woo! Star Wars, may the force be with you. It's not the fourth, so I can't say the fourth. Uh, coin box for storage right here. Automatic headlights. You also have poor weather lights or all weather lights. You just pull out on this guy to activate those. Your travel assist or your uh, travel assistance. This little tab right here, you just push in on that button. And now they show up here. You have lane assist, adaptive cruise control, regular cruise control, and then also side assist, and also uh, rear traffic alert and front assist. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn on lane assist. And also we're gonna turn on cruise control, but I have to turn on cruise control here first. And now it defaults to ACC, and I can also choose between that and regular cruise control. Over here on the radio, it's an AM FM radio with satellite. 
I also have gesture control. As long as you see that hand right there, you can actually wave your hand across just like that. Kind of like a Jedi, a Jedi mind trick right across the front there. And you have all of your presets there for AM, FM, and satellite all together. Uh, you do also have wireless Apple CarPlay, wireless Android Auto, and down here, wireless charging. So you can put your phone down here, even with the case on it. You don't need a pop socket for that. Or if you have a pop socket on it, it won't work, but otherwise it will. You do also have two USB-C connections there that are backlit and a 12 volt charger port right here. The backup camera, pretty sharp. It's an HD camera with trajectory, trajectory steering. You can turn the wheel left, you can turn the wheel right, and the yellow line moves accordingly. And then you just put it back in park and it goes away there. Um, now you do also have this button right here that brings it up on demand. As long as you're stationary, you can bring that up. Um, and again, trajectory steering left or right, and you add this icon here that shows you park sensors when they detect things getting close, they move and they change pitch as well. And just by hitting that button, you can turn that off. This is a four motion unit or all wheel drive, so it's gonna have this knob here. You have the multiple settings, there's snow, and then there's also eco, normal, sport, and custom. And you can actually, if you want to save on fingerprints, you can actually hit the button here and change that without touching the screen, just by pushing down on the mode button. You do also have off-road and in off-road custom as well. Off-road custom allows you to hit the adjust button. You can turn things on and off, change them between eco, normal, and sport, uh, and just uh, adjust the overall responsiveness of the car. So I'm gonna turn that back to the roadway there. There's also a cup holder light right here. So you've got these two cup holders here. Uh, there's your e-brake and the push button right there and then this is your armrest it's padded with uh, leatherette here with the double stitch the double contrast stitch there you do also have a USB-C connection in here and storage in here where you can get a medium-sized person here there's even a drop-in safe that you can get in here as well um, that's very nice you can lock valuables into that and then you have a glove box here the glove box has your manuals right here and uh, the uh, tire warranty and whatever the extras are right there and then seat belt clip protectors are right here in this little orange bag the carbon fiber finished it starts over here and goes across the dash and into the door there it's actually a pattern it's not real carbon fiber of course but it looks nice on the car flat silver finish around the door handle and goes back to here you do have that quartzite gray inset there with that contrast stitch and the arm pad there Lots of storage for bottles and cups. The passenger seat is still a power seat as well. You've got the forward and back button right here and then seat back adjust here. Now this unit is sold. It was an ordered car, so they waited a while for this one. Um, this one sold. There's a sold sign for it. There's a storage bin up here where you can actually uh, store things in it. There's even a drop-in tray you can put in there as well. There's a speaker here. Up above, the auto dimming home link mirror with home link connect. That's a four-year subscription. You have that right here. So you got three buttons plus a Bluetooth button there, digital compass right there. Vanity mirror on each side with an LED light above. There you go, same on the passenger side there. And then that giant panoramic sunroof with that power sunshade, I'll go ahead and open that up. That sunshade goes all the way back and the sunroof opens up. You just lift up on that, or push back on that button there. This pane of glass here stacks on top of that one. A pop-up windscreen right here so you have that as well very nice today is the first day that it dropped below uh, 90 degrees I think it's 89 nope it says it's 91 so it's still hot today guys uh, there's a look at that giant sunroof closed but the sunshade is open let's take a look at the back seat or the middle row there again is that look at that five spoke tire there now the window sticker is off of this one this one comes in at fifty thousand five $50,055, 50055 50 Here's a look through from the back to the front. There's your instrument cluster right there. Center console, armrest, the shifter right there. Your vents back here in the back. You also have vents here that you can control as well. Uh, and then you also have climate control that you can control back here as a passenger. It can be locked out up front. Speaking of climate control, going into the summer months here, I will bring up the menu button here. You have a touch screen right here. By hitting the menu button, it brings it up on the screen here. You also have air care. Air care you can activate. That's your air filtration system. You just hit the air care button there and hit active up here. 
little blue line will expand to cover the interior of the car. It gives you the progress of the air, the air care filtration. Now, if you have a window open, a sunroof open, or uh, any kind of window cracked, this system will shut off. It's not gonna filter the air when there's actually an open window. There's a look up at the giant panoramic sunroof. Very nice, goes right over my head. Awesome to see there. The seats back here for comfort. Here's a magazine pocket here and also here. I have lots of space still here. This seat is all the way back. I'm gonna actually move this seat up a little bit because I had it back a little far here. And in this seat here, there's a bar underneath. I can slide the seat back and forth. Oh, I just realized it's this way because of the Muddy Buddy box behind me. Here's a look at the seats here with the car, the car, uh, car seat hookups here, car seat hookups here, and also here. Fold down armrest in the middle. This is how you know you have a new car. Just rip that off right there. There's a look at the third row seats there with the Muddy Buddy box inside right there. Okay, let's take a look at the back hatch. Oh, one other thing I did want to mention here, sunshade built in right here. Okay, so at 50,055, this is a bench setup. So you get the R-Line black setup. It does come with the sunroof standard. So we're going over that. Um, extras on this car. There's the Muddy Buddy box right there. And there's a look at the seats there. Those headrests flip up. They sit high off the floor as well. Still reinforcing plate right here. All right, let's take a look at the rear hatch. And this car just got PDI'd, so I'm making this video before it gets cleaned up, before it rolls out tomorrow. It's been a busy day already, so I didn't really get a chance to uh, get it detailed yet today, and it would be dirty by tomorrow anyway if I got it detailed today. There's a look through from the back to the front. Giant panoramic sunroof there. Now this Muddy Buddy here, a lot of you might be asking, what's a Muddy Buddy? He's mentioned it about six times. This is a car, a trunk liner. This is gonna cover back here on the floor and the back of these seats, whether they're folded up or folded down. It's a rubber liner to protect it against mud, dirt, and other things. So if you ride horses and you have boots and things like that, you need to take off when you're done riding horses or whatever, that heat protects the seats from getting mud on them. The extras in this one include cargo blocks, monster mats, the tow hitch cover, the actual tow hitch right here. Hitch and ball is in this box right here. The accessories bag for the tow hitch roadside assistance kit right there there's a 12 volt charger port there two USB C connections right there so a set a seven USB setup here in this car C pillar vents there and also here bag hook over here on this side trunk light recessed over here and also a trunk light recessed over here now there's a look at the tow hitch again and it's got a power lift gate now this late in the year, what we're finding is the SE Tech units are coming with deletes, so they no longer have a power lift gate or blind spot monitoring or rear traffic alert. This one has all of those features. This car will come with a four year, 50,000 mile bumper to bumper warranty on it from Volkswagen. That includes two years of free maintenance. So your 10 and 20,000 mile oil change are covered. Also, if you buy from me at Bomberito St. Peter's here in St. Louis, I'll give you a third year free maintenance as well, free of charge. Now that does require that you come to my dealership for that third year free maintenance. And also, if you buy from me, remember you can fly in and drive out. I will give you a 10 year, 200,000 mile nationwide engine and powertrain warranty free of charge. So if you're interested in a car like this one, give me a call, 636-290-4257, 636-290-4257. I'm on TikTok, YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at Reese Sells Cars. Thanks a lot, guys. Stay safe, stay healthy, have a great day.